Hi there and welcome back to iCafe Studios. I'm Holly Dorniak and today we're going to take a look at Active Inspire and we're going to learn how to lock um, items down in Active Inspire to prevent movement. It can be really important to lock images and text and other objects down so that your students don't accidentally move things um, while they're in Active Inspire. So you can see right here I've got a page where I'm going to label the parts of the water cycle and it could get really tricky if, especially with younger students, but also with <laughs> teachers and older students alike. If things are moving around um, that aren't supposed to be moving around, that can get um, really, uh, everything can get really mixed up easily. So here, the purpose of this flip chart page, we're going to write the <laughs> parts of the water cycle. So I'm going to write condensation here. And down here, we've got, uh, this looks like evaporation. My terrible handwriting. There we go. And uh, precipitation. <laughs> oh, my mother would be horrified to see my handwriting. Uh, and now um, I can erase to reveal the correct answer. And this is part of training your kids. Your children, when you set this up, you would definitely tell your kids, oh, you're going to check your answer by erasing underneath your answer. And you can see there I've got um, the answers correct. The handwriting isn't great, but <laughs> I've got the answers correct. Here's another example of items that are locked down. I'm going to get my select tool here and pull up on this arrow, and I can see I've got some some um, tasks here on my um, task card and the first is to highlight the Colorado River in pink. So I'm going to grab my highlighter. I've got red chosen here um, and I'm going to find the Colorado River and I've got it highlighted in pink. Now this would be really tricky to do if um, my uh, map that's behind my highlighting and behind my directions, if that was moving around um, that could be quite a mess. Um, and you can see if I go up here to uh, design mode, um, you can see, yes, it's just a map um, behind there. And I'm going to hit page reset to get everything back to the way it should be there. All right, so how do we lock um, objects down? I'm going to make a shape here with my shape tool. I can choose any shape that I like. Let's choose triangle and uh, it doesn't matter what colors you choose, but you've got uh, your fill color and your pen color here. I'm going to click and drag to make a shape from top left to bottom right. And when I release, you can see my cursor is still talking to me. It's telling me I'm ready to draw another shape. So I'm not, I don't need to draw another shape. I, so I'm going to get my select tool, um, which also looks like a little arrow from my man, main toolbox. Then I can come over here and with my pen, I can hover and uh, click or I can just do a right click um, if I'm using a mouse and I can come all the way down to locked. Um, now you can see I can still move this object around and that's because I'm in design mode right up here at the top. Um, orange is indicating that I'm in design mode. As soon as I switch over to presentation mode, so now my uh, design mode button turned blue, um, my item uh, remains, it because I locked it, um, it, it acts as if it's locked while in presentation mode. To unlock, I'm going to go back to design mode and I'm going to right click and come down, scroll all the way down and uncheck where it says locked. That way no matter which mode I'm in, my object is now unlocked. So basically just right click on anything and choose locked and then locked again to unlock. <laughs> if that made any kind of sense at all. Hopefully it did. Um, this has been Holly Dorniak in the iCafe Studios. Be sure that you check out our um, handy cheat sheets. We've got lots of resources available in our resources section on our blog. So check it out.